Hey team, this is Dano from HowToHeatPress.com and in this video I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to upload SVG files into Cricut Design Space. There are so many free SVGs out there, it's insane. Uh, we've got a post which I'll link to in the description below which has our favourite free SVG websites. We've got a ton of them here, maybe 15 or so. Um, some of them have many, many thousands of free SVGs. And for this tutorial, I'll be having a look at a SVG pack from Design Bundles. It's a freebie pack, which I'll link to. And we'll try one from Love SVG as well, which is another one of the best sites for free SVGs. I might try this Addicted to Him one, which I'll, I'll make a t-shirt for Naomi, my wife. Um, I think that would please her. So to start off with, we need to download the SVGs that we're going to be using. So Addicted to Him. Download. So this is only for personal use. If you want to use it for commercial use, you, you need to purchase a license. But otherwise, everything on Love SVG is free. Download that to the desktop. And we'll extract or unzip that zip file, which opens it up. And that first picture, and when it when the file opens, this is just an image of the SVG. But we want to open up this file and for Cricut the SVG is this file with the Chrome icon. Uh, you can also upload PNG files to Cricut but that would upload as a, a single layer file whereas with the SVG file there's multiple layers so you can use different colors for different parts of the design. So we know that's there but we go into design space onto the canvas and come down to the left hand side here and click upload. Upload image, browse, addicted to him. Here we go and then choose to upload that one with the Chrome symbol if you're using Chrome. And that's it, you can change the image name but I think that is a very suitable name. Save that and to use it we would then click on it and insert images and that would open up on a canvas. So yep and you'll see down here these are all different layers so you can change the colors of each part if you like. And we'll try another one from Design Bundles. Download these, this free set of Mandela, is that how you pronounce it? Mandela cut files. Download, save. There it is, we'll extract. Extract. And that will be there. We will trust that it's there. Go back into design space and upload image. Browse. I don't want that one this time. We want Design Bundles Mandela. And there were six different cut files in this pack. So I'll upload number five. Here goes the one with the Chrome logo. Open. And there she goes. Leave the name like that, or we could go Mandela 6 because there are others. Save and that one's now uploaded into Design Space. I'll quickly show what happens when you upload a, it as a PNG file. Back to, I'll, I'll do the Addicted to Him one again. PNG. Uh, for this type of image, this is a simple image. Other, you can upload images as PNGs, and these would be moderately complex or complex depending on the file. But you see this one here, we can continue. 
we can save it as a print and cut image for printing on heat transfer paper or something like that or a cut image for heat transfer vinyl and again we've got it uploaded as a cut image but this one it doesn't have as many options you can't separate it into different colors or or anything like that so it's best to upload if you've got the svg file it's best to upload it as a svg file so that's all there is to it again so quick so easy i hope this has helped please leave any comments in the bit below what do you call it the comment section and let us know if we can help in any way thanks for watching